Good day guys, been here. Um, previously we did this exercise, so that's day three. So today I'm going to do another one uh, with a voice, and also I'm going to show you um, how uh, we can we can make a family to uh, for this. So okay, so let's do it. So first, um, oh hell. Let me just close this one. So I'll start from scratch. Okay. So, so first, let's create a project, and let's model some wall W A, and let's model a roof on touch. So let's go to three D view. So this is our little house. Okay. And then let's place a skylight. So Windows WN, uh, WN load. So in your uh, Revit family folder, there is a skylight family. Okay, so let's place it. So maybe we can make, uh, we can use the bigger one. So for example, this is, let's just place two, two of skylight. Okay, and also we uh, we need a ceiling, so let's just place a ceiling. I'll use a pick wall, and okay, and also maybe I'll just increase the ceiling height because uh, the roof current. Uh, maybe just let me just lower the roof, maybe uh, three meter, and then I'll just increase this ceiling to three meter as well. So. If I um, if I cut a section, so you will see this is currently this is the how it looks like. So that's ceiling here, ceiling here, roof here, and the skylight. So what I'm going to do is I want to create some um, some void. So um, if I go. Uh, Hell, I think I found here. So something like this. So sometimes you have you have the seedings, uh, the pitch of the seeding not um, match the roof, and you you will need some some of this skylight. Okay. So first, oops, not this one. So first option is so um, so you can do a model in place mass. So let's do it. So this will be the same as the one we did previously. So same as this one, but I'll just do it again. Okay, so model in place and let's use mass. Okay, so oh, actually hell, before that, uh, we need to decide where where we want. So maybe we can go to seeding plan. So for example, this go to ground floor ceiling plan. So now you will see this is the ceiling and maybe you can use wireframe WF so you can see where the skyline is. Okay, so I'll just move them roughly. And okay, so hidden line HL. So let's say um, I want to create an opening here, another one opening here. So Maybe we can do this. Just select this ceiling, and we can just add. So, uh, for example, I'll just add a one one opening here. So roughly uh, here. Okay. So and uh, we will need another one. So here. So okay. So now we need two opening on the ceiling. Okay, so now if I finish this, let's go to 3D view, and then you will see that's opening here. And then we need uh, some wall to fill um, uh, fill the gap between the ceiling and the roof, right? So, okay, so now I'm going to show you the first method. So this is now we are look, uh, looking up. So this is ceiling. So this is roof. And these two are the skylight. So now, first method, model in place. So you can use mess and OK and OK. So now what I'm going to do is first set word plan. Okay, 
and pick this ceiling. So this is ceiling, and then you can pick the line, pick the opening. So tab and select this. So if you want to, you can even uh, lock onto the opening. And then, okay, so this is one of the profile. And then we need another one, which is the opening on the roof. Okay, so once again, set our plan. This time, pick this roof. And then again, pick line and pick this edge. Tab, tab, and pick this. You can also lock this. Okay, so now we have two sets of uh, profiles, so uh, reference lines. So, so one's here, so one, two, three, four, four lines. So actually, uh, we can change them to a reference line. Same, these one, two, three, four, four line, uh, make them reference line. So now select these two, so control select, so eight reference line, you can create a form. Okay, so now this is the form we can use to place wall. Okay, so if I finish this, and then um, by by default uh, the, the the mass will be trans translucent, so you will see it a little bit. Um, um, let me just hi isolate. So this is the mass. Okay, so now you can place wall by face. So, uh, and then we can change or we can pick a wall. So let's, uh, I'll just use generic wall and you can place it on this. And also you will see this wall is placed inside the mess. So if you want to, you can just change this uh, location line, change this to interior, and then it will be placed on the uh, outside of the, the mess. And once again, CS, and pick wall, pick wall, a uh, uh, place wall, place wall. Sorry, and then that's it. And then you can uh, you can select this mass. So if we want to keep, uh, it's good to keep it because if you um, if you delete this mass, so the relationship between the mass and the wall uh, will no longer. Uh, exist so which means if you change the opening size though you can't update the wall so it's good to maybe you can do make it a uh, demolish in new so make it temp uh, temporary okay so hr so uh, let me change it to shade sd uh, so currently it's show all so you you, you can see that's a uh, that's the, the mass there, which is uh, temporary. Okay, so uh, let me just hide the roof. So these are the wall we just created by a uh, place on face. So if I, so for example, if I just select this seating and if I change the opening, so because previously when we create this mass, we lock the profile onto the opening. So I think um, the mass will follow the opening. Okay, I think. So let's have a try. So if I click OK, so you will see this blue color. So this is the mass. Okay, and then you can select all this wall. Oops, we can't tap. So select one, two, three, four. Because this mass is still there, so you can just update and this full wall will automatically match the opening. Same as the window. So if I change the window, so for example, I change the window to a smaller one, uh, maybe this one. And uh, looks like this doesn't, uh, this, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> but that's, that's fine. We can still, so HR to show the roof and we can just adjust the mass to so we can go to this uh going to this oh actually hell i think it it works so let me see so after i edit this mass this mass just uh now it's following the the shape of the window okay 
So now we can select the wall and just update. Okay, so that's it. And then uh, because the mass is uh, demolished in new, so if you ch uh, change the face filter to previous and uh, new, so you won't see the mass. Okay, so this is the first one. So model in place, mass. And now I'm going to show you another one. Okay, so, so the second one will be adaptive family. Okay, so it's very simple. So just place point, one, two, three, four. So that's four points of that uh, opening of on the seating. Of course, if, if your opening is like uh, uh, more edge, you can add more points. But okay, so for this one, we only need four points. So make them adaptive. So let's go to front view. I'm going to just copy them up. So now I have eight. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me control Z. I'll just create a spline because I want to copy everything together so um, create splines between all these points and make them reference line so now we have one two three four and also one four reference line so now select everything go to front view cc go up and now we have eight uh, adaptive points and eight reference line so then select these two set a reference line create form and that's it so now we can load this family into into this project and then go to 3d view um, let's just escape for now because i want to hh h this window so hh h. so now we can uh, easily uh, find the point we need um maybe um Maybe let's go upside down so it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so now, okay, now we can place so component. So this is the family four, the adaptive family we just did. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So escape uh something's not right hell oh why uh let's sorry let's let's do it again so one two three four five six seven eight okay that's better so now this is this is it. So you, you'll see this is a solid mass. So if I HH this roof, so this is the adaptive family. And then we can place wall WA. Oh, sorry. Oh yes, we can WA and use this and place wall on this. Okay, so HR. And same, I think it will match the window size. If I change this window, um, size and let's HH the roof so you will see this adaptive family will automatic automatically match the window size let me change the size again here so you will see see and then you can just select this wall update okay and same let's try to change the size of the ceiling so if I dra drag this drag this and okay and then you will see this adaptive family will automatically match the opening and then once again you can select one two three four wall update okay and um yeah uh, like these maybe we can join them let's try okay so uh seating wall seating wall if if you do it up, uh, the other way, so wall ceiling, uh, in here it's the same. But sometimes 
sometimes if you don't so for example if you want to see that wall here you can always use a switch join so you'll see this but sometimes if you don't want to see the wall you can just do this okay so that's it so um i think this is very easy you can do it yourself right <laughs> um okay so that's it if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye